Hello everyone, welcome to the XY Booster Box opening. My name is Intense 3 We are up to part number six. Six, seven, eight, yes, six. Part number six. So, um, not long left until we get to the end. Now we've had a a pretty box. I'm actually looking at the um the list of cards, the set, and I have really gotten two EXs, uh, I think the whole this whole thing. I have to look back, um, because obviously I've doing this every week, so it's it's already been about six weeks, so I'm looking at a month ago, it's hard to remember what I got, but I've gotten a Mega Venusaur and a Mega Blastoise, I don't know that much. I haven't gotten any of the other EXs, so um, we're looking at, I've only gotten two EXs for the entire thing, and I've, I've only got, is it, um, what is it, four videos left, um, including this one. So it's not really going very well. Um, so we're going to start off, we're going to go... Xerneas, Blastoids, Venusaur, and then um, Vietal. Um, so, it's going pretty bad. Uh, two EXs in a whole set is pretty low. So, really, what we're looking at, we're looking at, we should get another one soon. Uh, the odds say um, that we should get another one soon, just because basically that's how it works. It, it works that way. It just does. Um, and I, I actually am starting to really like the idea of putting the uncommons at the front. Just so I don't ever feel or have any inkling that I'm going to get myself uh, an EX. The lighting is all off there. There you go. Professor's, Professor's Letter to start off with. That's a really good card, by the way. I like using that in the thing. Lunatone. I don't know if I have that card. Um, actually, the lighting is all over the place right now. I don't know why. Sandile. Uh, Vlog Dob. Lighting's really bad, actually. I don't know why this lighting is so terrible. Skiddo. Skiddo. Sorry. Scatterbug. Weedle. That's better. The lighting seems to get getting better. We have a reverse Greninja. That is awesome. So that's my first ever Greninja. So that is a new card, new Pokemon for me from the late, latest generation. I really like Greninja. I think Greninja is a really cool pop card. And um, I'm going to Malamar. Just normal Malamar, regular rare, no, no, nothing special. This is way better. The Greninja is way better of a card. Sorry, the lighting is all off here. I don't know why the lighting is so terrible. So let's put this light on into his light. Does that make it better? It actually does make it a lot better. Oh yeah, so there's the Greninja. Um, so that is, that's a cool card. I've never seen this before. I think Greninja is one of my one of my favorite new Pokemon. Um, I think it's just a really awesome design. Um, I feel like with the starter Pokemon, it, there needs to be at least one cool one per generation. You know, there's always one like I'm the weird one, but I actually like Venusaur better than like Charizard and Blastoise. Like when I play, uh, I've said this before, I'm pretty sure when I play Red and Blue and Yellow. Um, I always take Venusaur, uh, Bulbasaur, and get Venusaur, because I love me some, some Leaf Pokemon. But, um, as I was saying at the start of the, of this video, we're still looking, yeah, that's way better lighting-wise, uh, we're still looking for an EX, we've only gotten two EXs in this entire set, which is absolutely terrible, but they've both been really good ones, obviously the Mega Blastoise and the Mega Venusaur, which is... <coughs> Basically the two cards you'd want anyway, but I do want to get a Xerneas and a Vettel if I can Just so I can have the, you know, the X and Y Pokemon um, and Add them into my collection. So there's a Froakie Cool, whatever. Um, Froakie's just Froakie I'm gonna reverse Delcati And our second rare of the evening Is a Hollow Go-Goat I never knew this Pokemon existed it's a Go-Goat. Um, obviously, Skidoo's uh, evolved form. But it is a hollow, so that's really cool. And it actually looks like a really cool hollow, I don't know if you can see. The way it reflects, it's it's almost like um, Lion King-esque lighting coming down from the left. Um, oh, from the, well, this left. So, you're, you're, what you're seeing. Um, it just looks really cool. I actually really like the way that shines. That's a, that's a really cool card. Um, it's just it just shines really well. I'm just gonna put that there. Now we're, we're two two packs down now. We have a hollow. <sighs> Venusaur, you are going to be my man. So yeah, we need an EX card. 
There will be one, I imagine, between now and the end of the series. At least. But like I said, with the uh, Ancient Origins packs, I mean, I, I got two EXs out of 20 packs, I think it was. Two EXs out of 16 packs? One or two. two out, I think it was two out of 16 or two out of 20 I got. So it was pretty bad. Um... So we'll see what happens, but I got really well, I did really well this first half of that set, so maybe we'll do really well at the end of here. So there's a, a Spupa, Professor's Letter again, and Professor Zakamol, so there's our uncommons. For our commons, we get a Chespin, Tailo, Spritzy, Lediba, Lediba. Our reverse is a reverse Brazikin, Braxkin, Bra Bra Brazen. It's like Brazen, isn't it? Brazen, Brazen, Brazen. And our rare is a regular rare Simi Seer. This is just not pulling today. <coughs> just not pulling. That's three packs down. One holo, two regular rares, no EXs. No Torres. What do I want? I'm looking at the list now. If I could get the secret rare... No, there's no secret rares, actually. If I can get the Xerneas or Vettel, that's all I really want. Actually, Imbolgo would be pretty cool, too. Just give me an EX card! Come on! This man can do it. <clears throat> Look at him. He's a bird that just loves, like, EX cards. I mean, that's what he's looking at in that picture. He's like, oh, look, a card! I'm gonna go steal it off some guy. Also, it does look like he has hair, and it just looks really... Uh, it might be like a mane kind of thing. But it looks really weird on a bird. And I'm just going to say, point that out. If no one's pointed that out before, it kind of just looks weird. It's like grey as well, which is even weirder. I don't know. It just looks weird. Last pack of part number six. I think I said it was in part number six. I don't know. But, but... This is the last pack, we'll see how we go. We get... A spoof of stuff. We get... A Dublade. Ah, these are cards I have. And a Cocoon. I have all those three uncommons. Alright, here we go. Spoink. Um, Boneyard. Flexling. Fennekin. Voltorb. Are you ready? A reverse Voltorb, so back-to-back -back Voltorbs, and the final card for this entire video. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm going to go like this, and I'm not going to show you yet, but it's a <coughs> regular Ray <Bishop. coughs> Um. So no EXs, we got, we, got, uh, we got one holo in that, so that wasn't... The worst thing, we got something, I guess, but three regular rares, one holo, nothing else of note. We get a Greninja, which was a new Pokemon for me, and I know that'll add to my set. Um, but yeah, really poor set opening. The whole box has been really just shit. Um, so we're getting close to the end, we've got three videos left, um, so that means we've got only 12 packs to open. What are we going to get? Are we going to get that Vettel? Are we going to get that Scarm uh, like the Skarmory EXs, the Emolga, the Xerneas, like just regular Barsoys or Venusaur? <clears throat> um, that's really all there is, actually. Um, that's all of the EX cards you can get in there. But there's not a lot of EXs, but I you think that after all these packs, after 24 packs that have opened, you'd get more than two EXs. But that's currently all I'm sitting on after 24 packs. That's 1 in 12. We have 12 left. So maybe if odds aren't going to continue, we'll get at least one EX over the rest of this series. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember, after this series is done in three weeks' time, we will be moving towards Flash Fire and going for that Mega Charizard EX. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.